first and foremost, I just want to say thank you for this opportunity and for allowing students to participate in a press conference of this magnitude. My first question is, being a senior in the class of 2020 has not been um, an easy task during this COVID-19 outbreak with prom and graduation being canceled or postponed. Um, it's very difficult for a few of my, me and my peers. Um, my question is, would you be in favor of a um, combined prom for all Jacksonville seniors just to honor us um, somewhere, you know, spacious such as as the prom Osborne and how would we go about doing this? Yeah, well, yes, I would be in favor and I'm willing to coordinate to make that happen. Um, and let me just speak directly to, uh, to what you're facing. Uh, while it was a long time ago, I remember my senior year. Uh, I remember my friends. I remember prom. I remember uh, the A, the excitement of being about to graduate, but B, the enjoyment of being able to spend uh, the spring going into the summer with my friends before people went their own ways to college. So um, I hate that you're having to experience this, uh, but I applaud you for being strong and courageous, for helping us stop the spread, and I applaud you for thinking about uh, your peers and wanting to do something citywide. So what I'll do is I'll have my team connect with you and you can help connect us with the right people. And we'll ask the community to help as well to make sure that, uh, that we provide some experience that will be memorable for you. Kids my age are getting a little restless. What kinds of things are you doing with your family at home to stay busy? Do you have any fun suggestions? Yeah, well, look, I've got, uh, in my house, I've got three uh, young folks as well, a son and two daughters, and uh, I see that they're restless. Uh, so a couple of things. We've, played, we've been playing a lot of cards together. Uh, it's interesting. We always are battling to get each other off of our devices. Everybody's tired of the devices now. So we're playing cards, we're talking together. But I'll tell you one of the other things I encourage, I was one of my daughters yesterday is just really missing some of her friends. And, um, and I said, look, we have to get through this and it's, it's difficult and it's painful, but you finish your schoolwork online, laying around in this house all day is not healthy. So she went out, properly social distance, she went for a run. So we'll go for a run or for a walk. I would encourage you, all people, but you know, get outside. Don't, it is not healthy to be uh, frustrated and just cooped up in a house. So again, keep your distance from people, but go outside and move around. Ride bikes. Um, we, uh, my family and I went for a bike ride last night. We've been on a number of bike rides. Walk your dogs if you have dogs. Uh, and uh, just move around. Mayor Curry, again, one of my questions is when things go back to normal and students are allowed to go back to the classroom, will classroom sizes decrease um, with fears or the possibility that someone be, will be asymptomatic? And that goes with churches too. Will we be able to congregate like normal or will we have, have to have a limit of the number of people? Uh I don't, I don't know the answer in terms of classroom sizes. That would be a discussion we would, as a community, and frankly, as a state, would have to have with the Department of Education, with our superintendents around the state and our school board members. Um, but the, the bigger question you're asking is about uh, churches and other gathering places. Uh, I, I, here's what I believe. The United States of America is a resilient country that has been through some really difficult times in her history. And uh, we're in one of those times right now. And we've always emerged, the United States of America, and we've always emerged better. Our way of life is church, sporting events, um, um, art, music, um, you name it, that is our way of life. And I believe that our responsible behavior now will allow us to at some point get back to 
what we consider part of our culture and normal behavior. So uh, specifically speaking to young people and to your question, um, I, I know it's not easy to see right now because you're, you're cooped up in your home, but our history tells us that we are a people that will emerge, will emerge strong, and will merge in a way where we can be together and we can hug each other again. We can show that we care about each other. I believe deeply within me that that day's coming.